welcome back to Black News Tonight. June is Black Music Month, and we are kicking it off on a high note. From jazz to blues to R&B to rock and roll and rap, black music has influenced every single musical genre. Hell, black people have influenced every single musical genre. And to celebrate black music's excellence, Diddy, James Brown, Beyonce, and other icons will be honored at the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. The inaugural ceremony begins on June 17th in Atlanta. Here to talk about this and much more are Michael Malden and Demet Gidry, co-founders of the Black American Music Association. Thank you both for joining me. Uh, I'm gonna start with you, uh, Michael. Talk, we often talk about the power of black music. What makes it so powerful? Hey man, it's really heartfelt. It's really community. It's really something that, um, you know, we talk about soul. We, it's, it's really at the end of the day, it's just a powerful movement that we all relate to. And thank God, I think our history tells itself uh, that, you know, this is what needs to be happening for us as a community. That's absolutely right. And I think that seeing you two as successful uh, music executives who made a decision to not just make more money, to not just get more fame, but to actually build and start something, right? The Black American Music Association. For me, that's something special. What, what made y'all want to do it? I, I tell you, man, after 30 years in the music industry, Mike and I were working on several entrepreneurial uh, projects and we were sitting around the office one day and we said, imagine this, you have a, a musical art form with over 50 genres in it and there's nobody that's representing the narrative um, of this music and that's advocating for and you know exemplifying the excellence that the art form does, who's amplifying that? Who's making sure that the history is being told? So we, we felt like there needed to be a unity of purpose. So we wanted to provide a unity of purpose for the over 42 stakeholder categories that make up Black American music. And because it's an indigenous art form, we knew that it needed to be protected and promoted and preserved. And this Walk of Fame is one of our main preservation initiatives. The Walk of Fame, there's a Hollywood Walk of Fame, there's a what, the unofficial white folk Walk of Fame. Why is it important for us to have our own Walk of Fame? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's kind of like Demet just said, it's about preserving. Uh, you know, at the Black American Music Association, our mission is to preserve, protect, and promote the legacy and the future of authentic black American music. And so often we feel that a lot of our kings and queens, as we refer to them, um, haven't had their opportunity to receive their flowers in a proper kind of way. And we know that that needs to happen. And sometimes on the shows that are going on, regardless of the award shows out there, our community tends to suffer. And sometimes we complain about it, but most of the time, at the end of the day, we're not getting our just due. So for us, with the Black American Music Association, we felt it was important to do something that could really help benefit history by recognizing our history to inspire the future. And um, the Walk of Fame was a good way to do that. But it's, you know, we also wanted to make sure that we were addressing entertainment overall. So it's the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. I love that. And you talk about getting people their flowers before they leave us. What kind of folk are we going to be honoring? Who are some of the other names we will be looking forward to hearing? Well, there's well, Kirk I Franklin. Go ahead, Dick. Shirley Caesar. There's Missy Elliott. Beyonce. I heard of her. James Brown. Otis Redding. Ooh. Mr. Michael Jackson. So y'all not just honoring. Oh man, y'all y'all honoring the gods. You talk from Shirley Caesar to Beyonce to Otis Redding to to Michael. I mean, we, you. Th th this is a who's who kind of situation. This is this is amazing. I I can't wait to see this. I, I'm actually um, excited about this. One of the things I want to ask y'all though was, as we think about the next phase of music, because I want to pick y'all music brains just in the minute I have left. You know, when we go from a, a Michael Jackson to a Beyonce, we're seeing a kind of shift, right, in, in, in a trend, you know, from one superstar to the next right. superstar, two of the greatest entertainers we've ever seen. 
when we think about the next phase of artists, the new generation of artists, what are some big trends you're noticing? Anything we should be keeping our eyes on? Well, I, I think you should be on the lookout for a resurgence or a renaissance, if you will, in the art form. So there, there's genres that uh, have sort of taken a backseat uh, to some of the more popular genres such as urban, uh, but you'll see a resurgence in R&B. You'll, res you'll see a resurgence in soul music and what we're calling rhythm and soul, where we'll see the younger generation that are going back to learn some of the historical you know, aspects of the art form and bring those things forward. We have a guiding principle, Mark, that we call Sankofa, which is an African proverb that says that you shouldn't be ashamed to go back and fetch it. So even though we're all about the innovation mm. of the next hundred years, we want to celebrate the past hundred years and, and also allow the young kids to be free to perform other genres um, inside of the art form. And that is why I love y'all because y'all are helping move us forward, but you are forcing us, pushing us, demanding from us that we acknowledge and honor the past. That's what makes this all so amazing. Michael and Demet, thank you so much for joining me. And everybody, the inaugural ceremony of the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame, again, is on June 17th in Atlanta. For more information, visit the website, BlackAMA, that's BlackAMA.org.